Hello guys, welcome to the episode 22 of this series of tutorials on creating the web API and consuming it with MVC in ASP.NET Core 3.1. I shall continue to upload one episode every day and I shall walk through editing the default layout file in this lecture and this episodes and the code base are built in continuation from the previous ones hence it is highly suggested for you to go through the previous ones before viewing this one. Now there are plenty of useful takeaways if you view the tutorials through to the end. And finally a request to subscribe to the channel and share it with the, the like-minded. Now let's see how we are going to edit the layout file. So let's flip over to Visual Studio again. Now this is the layout.cshtml file that was created when we created the MVC client project with MVC model view, model view and controller template and it has got so many things that we don't require like you know at this moment I have got this site.css and bootstrap.min.css so one of the two is required not both of them and we have got several tag these are known as tag helpers ASP area, ASP controller, ASP action so and this home and privacy links which are also not required in our case if you look to the completed application in the beginning you will know everything how our application is intended to look and we don't need this footer section okay we don't need the footer section and all these uh, javascript and jQueries it will be not be required till we go to the client side form validation in which case we will put it back again but at a different place and this portion is the main portion that will stay at render body. So what I will do that I will highlight the entire code with control A and delete everything and I will put uh, the code from my clipboard and all you can see is that there is a HTML template I will save this. This is a, again a razor page. CSHTML with HTML markup and a bit of C sharp code. So it has got a meta name viewport and content is width is device width. So this is for responsiveness and title is viewback.title whatever it gets from the viewback dynamically. Okay. So because viewback is a dynamic view data dictionary and it still retains the library lib slash bootstrap slash dist slash css bootstrap min dot js so bootstrap min dot js is here you know um, so this is our bootstrap dot min dot css within the bootstrap dot css folder okay so this is the minimalistic bootstrap css file and render body section as I have told you in the layout file video that it renders the body of the view which is calling this layout file and that's it. 